Um, using the circular saw for the window, it bent. It actually broke. Like it bent the drill bit that goes in the middle. This looks weird. It, it's exactly like this. It's like the, the hole that you're doing and then there's a drill bit in the middle. Woo! monkey man and I'm out of breath oh my god I'm dying it's hot outside it's like a bazillion bazillion degrees outside and all I did was carry a few things upstairs and I'm like huffing and puffing but anyways welcome back to another episode of operation food computer and today is the day today we make our parts on the ground like this and this and these things and we make our two-dimensional parts into three-dimensional parts. We're going to start building on the baseboard. First, I went to Home Depot and I went to Lowe's and I bought some stuff this morning. First of which are these boards. I got four of these boards and they're just going to be used for like, I'm going to put them on the sawhorse thingies outside so we can put them like, ooh, well look at this, it looks 3D. It's like a 3D movie. Ooh, it's coming out at you. These boards, these boards, we're going to put them like so. Then we're gonna put the other two boards like that across. And then because we need to cut a hole, we need to cut a hole, the window in the side panel to go between the grow chamber and um, the electronic bits. And in order to do so, we need it so where the saw can come down. So we need a place to like, we need a place where the saw can come down in the middle, and that's like these. We put it like that, and then the saw will go like on top, and then the blade will go in between, and then we can cut out the window. It'll make more sense, I think, when I'm outside. I suck at explaining things, but we're going to use these boards as like the foundation to hold up our new, we got a new PVC sheet. It looks exactly like this one. This is the one with our holes in it that we cut a couple weeks ago, our baseboard. It's like that, sitting right over here. I got another 24 by, what is that? 24 by 48 or 24 by 36 inch panel that we're gonna cut the window out of. So we're gonna make something similar to this, except we're gonna cut a big hole in the middle of it. And we're gonna go take a look at the computer in a minute to see what size that board needs to be cut to and then what size the window needs to be cut to. And after we cut that out, we're gonna start screwing in these bits. We got, Here's a couple more things that I got at Home Depot. I got these. I got, instead of, I got smaller ones of these before, but we got two inch um, felt pads to go on the bottoms. Um, I got some sandpaper so I can sand down the edges that I was talking about last week where I kind of cut it off a little bit. And then I also got this. It's like a circular saw. I thought a circular saw you needed like a completely separate like saw for. Like I thought it was his own separate saw. But they have these things which are like little bits where I can screw it into my um, drill and then it's got the circle there and it just drills a hole in the center. And yeah, this was like seven or eight bucks and I thought it was gonna be like, I thought I was gonna have to buy like a whole new circular saw, like doohickey. It's not a circular saw, but like circle, cut, cutting holes in something. So that's what we're gonna do. We need to make like little pads to put at the bottom. We need to cut PVC holes like an inch by two inches in diameter. So we're gonna cut a hole in the PVC, hole, six holes in the PVC with this thing, put felt pads on the bottom and then that's what's gonna be on the bottom so that the bolts don't like hit the floor or whatever surface we're gonna be putting it onto. So we're gonna do all that plus we're gonna cut these, we're gonna cut these to size because we need a whole bunch of different sizes of these, which we'll take a look at at the computer in a second. We'll see how many we need. And yeah, we'll use these boards as well to cut these because we'll put the boards like this, like a so, and then we'll put these things crossways and then the saw can come down right in the middle, zoop, and cut them to the different sizes. Just like that. That's exactly the sound it makes, zoop. So we're gonna cut those, make the baseboard, and then start making things happen. But I'll bring you guys back when we're at the computer. We'll take a look at some of the size of things. Peace out. That was loud. Okay, so we got the instructions up for the mainframe assembly. 
We need our PVC baseboard. Check. We need a PVC motherboard wall. We need that. Where is our PVC motherboard wall? Is this a PVC motherboard? That's a PVC motherboard panel. Where's our PVC motherboard wall? Um, motherboard assembly. No. PVC motherboard wall. Is that in here? Um, wrong thing. Parts. PVC. Motherboard dock panel. Is that the same thing? Register later. Is that yes, this is it. This is what we need. Okay. Can we change the view on this? Display. No. No. Okay, like that. Display. Flat. 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 There we go. Perfect. So, look at all these holes. Okay. This is going to be interesting. So this is going to be, let's get our handy dandy notebook out. PVC motherboard wall is what this is called in the instructions. And that's going to be measuring tape. Measuring tape, please. Not in that. Inches. Huh? 31.875. Of course it is. 31.875 inches by. Uh, uh, can I get you? 21.375. Is that what that says? 21.375 by 21.375 inches. So I think we rounded these to 32 and 21. I'm not positive. I think that's what we rounded them to on the PVC baseboard in the last episode. So I'll double check that before we do any of the cutting. And the window here, and the window here is going to be how far away from this? 3.875 inches away. So 3.875 inches from the left, and I'm guessing it's the same on this side. 3 point eight from the left and the right. And that's going to be how far across? Boom. Boom. Oh no. No. I want to get there. I'll get there. Uh, I want to select this piece. Okay. How long is that? Total length. 13.91 inches. What? Why? Let's just see how far this is. How far is... No. Why are you being finicky today? How far is this from this? 13.625. 13.625 inches across is a hole. And from here, no. No. To here, 18.625. 18.625 inches uh, length. I'm just going to call that length. How can I spell? And this is width, and then the corners inside are going to be rounded. And this from here is 3.794. So 3.794 inches from the top. And that's all that we're going to need if we measure from the top and that, and then the bottom will be fine. Um, then the holes are going to be their own monster. After we get this cut out, I'll probably just put the metal rod on the sides of that and then cut or drill through the metal rods. Not Well, the metal rods have holes cut in them already, so I'm just going to follow them as a guideline for these instead of pre-drilling them and then hoping that they fit correctly. Um, so that's going to be it for the motherboard panel. That's good, that's good. So now we need 6 by 2 inch diameter PVC standoffs, which I'm going to drill with the new thing that we bought today that I was explaining to you earlier that's going to look like this. We're going to cut out the holes in the new PVC board. Well, we're going to use part of the board for the motherboard wall, and then the other part of the board, the excess board, we're going to drill six of these holes out and then put them on the bottom like so. And then we're going to put the felt pads over them for the bottom. So we're going to do that, and then, then let's see. We'll start with how many rods are we going to need? These are our punched angle dimensions or lengths, I mean. We're going to need two 31 half inch ones, four 30 inch ones, four 24 inch ones, seven 18 inch ones, four 6 inch ones, and two 1 inch ones. And we're going to need all these bolts, nuts, and washers, which we have. We have the weather strip tape. We have a 3 8 inch ratchet. We have a 3 8 inch crescent wrench. So we have everything that we need after we cut out the new board here and cut out these and cut these. We'll get ready to build. So the first part of this video is going to be me cutting the motherboard wall, uh, cutting out the standoffs, and cutting out the uh, punched angles, and then I will bring you guys back and show you what it all looks like. I'll get it laid out, 
I'll show you all the pieces and then I'll do another part where I put everything together and it'll be magical. So I'll see you guys in a second. Peace. <laughs>
day number two. It took us two days, you guys. But I think we finally got it. I think we finally did it. I want to go over a few steps, though, that were complicating or I had trouble with. The first thing that we did was cut this. We got our new sheet of PVC, and then we cut the window out of this. So cutting it into the correct dimensions, just the sheet by itself, was fine. We used our table, not our table saw, our circular saw to cut it into that. But trying to use a circular saw for the window... Hello! I'm in the window! Um, using the circular saw for the window was quite tough because of the way that it cuts. It doesn't give you... When it comes to the edge here, it's gonna be like... It doesn't cut... It's not like a straight blade, it's a circle. Hence, circular saw. I know. I was amazed too. But when it comes to the edge, it's not going to give you a clean cut. It's going to want to like curve the edge, which was interesting. So I kind of just let it curve the edge. And then as you saw, or maybe have seen in the speedy up bit, I used a saw, a hacksaw or whatever it's called, to just chop the rest of that extra bit off of the edges. And it came out okay. It wasn't as straight as I would like. I mean, you're not going to get it perfectly straight. But if you look here, it's kind of straight. This is flat on the ground right here. And it looks, that looks pretty level. This looks pretty good, right? Uh -huh. If you squint, it's pretty, it's a pretty good window. We didn't do too bad. It's a little rough, but I sanded it down uh, earlier today. I sanded the outsides. I sanded this inside part to get rid of the extra like little, I don't know, when you cut the PVC, it's kind of flaky. You get like little flakes. So I sanded off majority of the little flakes. You get like little flakes like that. Um, so I sanded off the majority of the little flakes, and it's a little rough in some places where it didn't cut right, but it'll work. It's a window. That's all. It's a window. As my perfectionist self, I have to learn with this project to stop being a perfectionist. So we did what we could, and we have a window, and that's all that matters. And then, what else? Did we have any other issues with this? No, I think that was the only issue with the window. So we'll stick that over here. Um, the bottom part. The bottom part I also sanded. This is the baseboard where we cut all the holes. I sanded it down, um, the edges and stuff, and then what I did with this piece and the window piece, I just sanded them all down and then I sprayed them with a hose and then set them outside to dry so they're nice and clean to bring in the house, which is where we're going to put all this junk together because it's like 100 million degrees outside and I'm sweating my... I'm sweating some, some stuff. I'm sweating. Sweating some sweat. So we got those two pieces over here ready to rock. Next, we had... Okay, the hardest part, these things cutting these to size. We got a whole bunch of different sizes of these cut. We got 6 inch ones, we got 18 inch ones, we got 24 inch ones I think, 20, uh, 30 inch ones, and 31.5 inch ones. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1 inch ones, 2, 6, 6 different sizes of these metal rods. And do not try and cut them with the circular saw unless you have the right blade because I don't think I had the right blade and when I was cutting them there was metal bits flying everywhere. It was very dangerous. Don't do that. Um, I was like, I'm going to poke my eye out. But as you'll see in a second, this is what happened. Okay. I hurt myself. That means Operation Food Computer Days Without Incident is now zero. We had an incident. We drew a little bit of blood. That's when the chunk of metal like flew off and hit me in the leg. Which also wasn't very smart because I was wearing shorts, which I then switched to pants. But then it was 103 mazillion degrees outside. So, I don't know. It was rough. I was tired. So we made it into a two-day thing. I had to go back to Lowe's. I went back to Lowe's, and instead of using the circular saw, I bought a cheapo reciprocating saw? Is that what it's called? It's like, yeah, reciprocating saw. It's just one of those ones that you hold like this, and it's got a blade on the end that just moves back and forth. This looks weird. <laughs> that just moves back and forth, and I bought a specific blade just for like metal plated, or not metal, but like zinc plated metal stuff. So it was much easier to cut. I went, came back home and like everything else, it took a little while. I messed up on a couple pieces. Each thing that you buy has a learning curve and it took me like an hour to figure out the learning curve. But I did it, but some of the edges of this metal are very sharp, so be careful if you're doing this. There's lots of little bits of like, ow, ow, ow. Little sticky out bits of metal when you cut it, if you don't know how to cut it like me, I guess not a smooth cut and I don't have like a grinder either to smooth it or anything so I'm just gonna be very careful when I'm putting this together not to touch the metal bits but I do have metal bits all over the garage now so I'll probably have to clean out the garage before I move the car back in or I'll probably pop a tire which would be a bad day 
Um, but I think that was it. Ow. I just said I was going to be careful. Can I get this little bit of metal off? Come on. Ah, got it. Okay, let's put this where I'm not going to step on it. Ugh. I'll put it in this baggie. I'm not going in this baggie anytime soon. Okay, so we got the rods. We're setting the rods to the side. We got those. Done took forever and a day. That's probably the worst part of what I had to do for this part of the build. And then, okay, yeah, cutting these things. We cut the little round bits that we're gonna use for the legs. We got it, we needed to cut six of these PVC little leggings. I just used the leftover PVC sheet that we had, cut them, they're like, what, an inch thick? An inch thick by two inches in diameter. Um, again, Make sure that you get the right type of blade because the circle, the two inch circle one that I got attachment for my drill was a blade for wood and when I tried to use it on the PVC and I went to go drill it, it caught really bad and it went like and like jerked me, jerked me back a little bit. I was like whoop and, and then it bent, it bent, it actually broke, like it bent the drill bit that goes in the middle. This looks weird. It's exactly like this. It's like the, the hole that you're doing and then there's a drill bit in the middle. Woo! A drill bit in the middle and it bit the drill bit so I'm never going to be able to use it again. So that was like $8 wasted so I went back to Lowe's and I got one specifically designed for, what was it called, by metals and it was metal and wood and plastic and that one worked. Again, a little bit of a learning curve. It took me like three or four times to learn how to drill the hole correctly but then it was a pain in the butt because when you drill these things out it gets stuck inside the thing. Like, you would think you would just drill through and it would like pop out the bottom like that. But no, this PVC stuff, when you drill it, it's so tight, it just stays inside the thing and the drill bit's like sticking out and you have to wiggle it. I had to use like a pry, I used a uh, screwdriver to like pop it out of the little hole <sighs> each time. And then once I did so, like I said earlier, there's little like flaky bits on these. So I went ahead and sanded it all down so they're still a little rough as you might be able to see like see these little bits here they're a little rough but um whatever they're legs and the recipe i'm gonna call it called for countersunk things so you don't have the bolts hitting the table but with this i had to countersink them myself i guess you could call it so we're gonna see if that works if i need more countersunk in this i'll just drill a little bit more out we'll see how it goes but um Yes, yeah, so we got six of those right here. And we got our felt pads to go on the bottom of those. And like that. So it's gonna look all nice. We got, what do we got? We got our hex bolts to go. We got our, uh, what are these called? Hex nuts to go. We got our washers ready to go. We got our ratchet ready to go. And this thing ready to go. Um, and I think that's all that it called for. Here's the instructions, I printed them all out. Uh, we need a PVC baseboard, got it. We need a PVC motherboard wall, got it. That's the window. We need six two inch diameter PVC standoffs, which are these, nailed it. We need six two inch self-adhesive anti-skid surface pads. Done, showed them to you, got them. We need a punched angle, two 31 and a half inches, two 31 and a half inches, check. We need four 30 inches, four 30 inches, check. We need four 24 inches, four 24 inches. We need seven 18 inches, seven 18 inches. We need four six inches, four six inches. And two one inches, two one inches, done. We need 26 three eighths and one inch bolts. Bolts, 16 by one inch, three eighths, 16 dash one, check. We need 46 uh, 16 and one half inch bolts. Uh, one half inch bolts, not check. We'll have to go look for those upstairs. We need 83 something nuts, 83 something nuts, got it. And 84 washers, washers, nailed it. And 10 inches of weather strip tape. We'll have to get the tape, come upstairs. We got our ratchet, we got our crescent wrench. And yeah, let me go grab the 16, or three eighths inch and one half inch bolts in the weather strip tape and I'll be right back. Okay, so we don't have, we, did, we don't have 16 half inch bolts. So 
We have to go back to Lowe's or Home Depot or something. Again, for the fifth time this weekend. I'll be right back. And we're back. We just got back from Lowe's. And I just want to say, there's no such thing as a 3 8 inch dash 16 one half inch bolt. If there is, they don't carry them anywhere except for special orders because nobody uses them most likely. The smallest that I could find is 3 8 dash 16 and 3 quarters of an inch. And wherever it says use a half inch bolt, I'm just going to use a 3 quarter inch bolt and hopefully the world doesn't explode. We should be fine. I hope that half an inch, not, not even half an inch, a quarter of an inch doesn't make that much of a difference. But if it does, I'll be the first one to let you know. Um, so I think we're ready now. We got everything on the list. The only thing that I forgot is that we're going to need to drill holes in the window because when we frame the window with these, we wanted to hold off on drilling the holes until we got these on there so that they lined up correctly. So we're going to have to drill those out, but that shouldn't be too bad. We'll just stick the little hole, the drill bit through there, drill our holes, and it's time, you guys. we got to start building. So three, two, one, go. two-dimensional parts into a three-dimensional thing! <laughs> we finally did it! Uh, I'm looking at it right now. You guys can't even see it. <laughs> uh, let me just marvel in its glory before I show it to you. All of its crooked glory. But 
I can't help that without drilling other holes, and I'm not drilling other holes. It's going to be a little bit crooked, so... Oh, well. Here it is, yes. Okay. Are you ready for this? Food computer is now standing upright. It's got the felt pads on the bottom. There's the crookedness right there. See that? I can't fix that without drilling another hole up there somewhere. But this part's level. It's just this isn't level for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why. And if it was trying to make it level, it would go in the middle of these holes. So, screw it. It's just going to look like it's caving in a little bit on the wall. So here is how we did these sides here. Oh, and I think I missed some bits right here. Yeah, I have to do these bits still. That bit right there and that bit right over there. We got two more to do. But this is how close they came with those three-fourths inches. They are too big, actually. That quarter of an inch did make a difference, but we kind of have it sandwiched in between there. They just touch. It's still tight. It just They just touch. Whoopty ding dong Um, here's the top. This part is not connected for right now. I think that we'll do that some other time. All we got left to do now is do the weather strip tape, which I was too, I'm too tired to do after doing all this. We can see through this little window. Hello! There's where the plants are going to be. These are where the electronics are going to be. It's going to be amazing. But it's a thing now, you guys. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I'm enjoying the build. And I can't wait to get this thing to the... Well, I don't know. I'm having fun building it, but I want to get it to the point where we're, like, installing the electronics and picking out what plants we're going to get and all that good stuff playing with the camera and all that stuff. Oh, it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be amazing! Did you hear me? I'm going crazy. It must be heat stroke. Because it's 100 bazillion and 3 degrees in the Caribbean Sea. Oh, here, I forgot to show you like the little pads. Here's the little pads. Right there. All six of them. Any hoozle. That's gonna be it for this weekend's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed because I'm exhausted. I don't even know what to say. If you guys enjoy this series, please use those pinnable thumbs to give me a thumbs up, hit that like button, and subscribe if you haven't already done so to see more of these as well as more daily content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. I don't know.